great thing around Social Hub is it's not only just, uh, it's not an application, but it's an experience. So there's a number of different ways in which uh, Social Hub has been integrated into the device so that you have uh, the presentation of updates, uh, tweets, and everything related to social networking in the area that's most comfortable to you to navigate on the device. There's a couple of key areas off of the home screen where you can do so. The first one is feeds and updates. Uh, as you can see, it's right off of your uh, right off of your home screen, and it does have just the capability to scroll through those updates that are coming from the people that are most important to you. In terms of the uh, specifications and the settings, you do have the capability to modify it to those networks that are most important to you. That is Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter. So you can turn these off or on as needed. And then secondly, in terms of um, your frequency of your updates, you can do it to what level and to what, how often you want to get updated on it. So it's anywhere from as often as 30 minutes to once a day. And it really allows you to have that uh, sense of control in terms of how much and how often you're being updated. The other area, that is also part of that uh, social hub experience is your Buddies Now. What Buddies Now is, it allows you to keep up track with up to 12 of your closest friends. Uh, not necessarily just those that are on your social networks, but the power of this uh, widget is around those updates. So you'll see you have just the ability to scroll through those people. And when you do have and focus on one person, you do have their latest updates, and then you also have the ability to reply directly to their tweets, or um, when you do have full contact information, unfortunately we don't have contact information for Ashton Kutcher, but for those people that are your friends, if you have phone numbers, messages, you do have the ability to just call right here at the touch of a button and you're automatically connected to them. Uh, so these are kind of the widgets that are on top of the device with at your immediate uh, access. In terms of deeper integration, you'll see within our contacts, you do once again have automatically imported onto your contacts those people who you follow on Twitter, those friends that you have on um, Facebook, and those that you have on MySpace. So you do have them right at. You the guys point. have some awesome friends, man. Yeah, I know. We have friends <laughs> in high places. So once again, um, around the T Mobile device, and I think what's really not part of Social Hub, but part of that cool, um, strong, rich UI that we have, you have the capability to swipe left and right. So you swipe this way to call, and then you swipe the other way to message. So it's just that quick interaction that you have baked well into the into the device and being able to uh, very quickly respond. I think that's something that's uh, really well integrated into, into the Galaxy S1. Lastly, it's around the media experience and how that integrates into social networking. So you'll see if we go into the gallery section, you do have that one quick capability under your photos. Give me one second. Two, share with your friends in, once again, your preferred means of sharing it with your communities. So you can use Google Picasa, you can use all share if you want to share it to a TV or to a PC, and then you have everything through Gmail and to your um, to your social network as well. So all this, once again, baked into those areas of the device where you're interacting, where that content is relevant.